We're live, We're live guys. guys. <laughs> oh, uh oh, we need, need that. All right. All right. All right. I have an I have echo, an big, echo time. big time. Let me fix this. Okay. Okay. We're here, guys. Let me get situated. Okay. I had to do some technical shenanigans, but we're here. We are here. We are ready to go. And just a reminder for all of you that are coming in, let us know where you are coming in from. And that could be your city, your state, your country, your hemisphere, your galaxy, what part of the Milky Way you're in. It does not matter. You're here. All right, guys. Hey, guys. It's Nikki with That Homeschool Life. And I'm here to bring you real, practical, and honest homeschool information. Today, we are doing a curriculum review on one of my favorite curriculum, grammar curriculum, Grammar Island. Michael Clay Thompson's Grammar Island. Hey, so do me a favor, put your put a one in the chat if you have used Grammar Island or if you just own it. Because I know some of y'all, like me, you buy a lot of curriculum, you don't always get to it. So put a one in the chat if you have used Grammar Island. Let me catch up with these um, comments. All right, let's see who's in the house. Jamila, I haven't seen your face in a while. It's lovely seeing you this afternoon. Lily, hey, what's going on? Uh, NorCal's in the house. Let's see, North Carolina, Lily. Chronic Reader, you're from Georgia. I used to live in Albany, Georgia, back in the day. That was one of my favorite states to live in. We have pecan trees or pecan trees all over the place and wild berries and plum trees, just free food all over the place. Uh, uh, Love for Alls from North Carolina. We have a lot of people from North Carolina. What y'all know that we don't know? Uh, Maketa says she's from North Carolina. I'm homeschooling for the first time. Well, welcome, y'all. We got a newbie. We got, hold on, let me get. Now, you know I have this bell for when we start our our shows with um, a win, but for the newbies, I think that's appropriate. So what is that, like four people from North Carolina? You guys need to get together and build your tribe. Tiffany from Washington. Josie says, nice to see you again in another live. I've been wondering about MCT. So you're about to, you're about to find out everything you need to know tonight. All right, let's see. Uh, so excited to hear about MCT. I started it with my daughter recently. Oh, good. So this is going to be a really great review for you. Tiffany, good. She has used or has been exposed to Grammar Island, uh, Christ Church, New Zealand. Y'all, we international. Welcome, Josie. I knew you were from New Zealand. Um, Chronic Reader says, I own it, and I've used it the first few sections. All right, so good. I'm, I'm seeing a number of you guys who are just, you know, cracking it open, you know, getting your teeth, you know, into it. We're using it now. That's Zoe. That's why y'all chose it number one in the Uh, Steph from Texas, my fellow Texan. Danielle, another North Carolinian. Is that how y'all say y'all? Y'all state's name, Carolinians? Uh, We have Danielle. Hey, Danielle. She just ordered it. M. Wolf from Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. And let's see. Okay, I think I'm caught up. Love, Love Katess from Ohio. And DIY Homeschool is from Georgia. That's another another Georgian. And Love for All says, I haven't heard of it. Good. I like people like you. <laughs> I can indoctrinate you. <laughs> I'm kidding. And we got another Texan intentionally made from North Texas. Okay. So we're going to jump right into it because y'all, you know, my videos get really long. And I know when people are looking for reviews, they just want to get to the nut of everything. So we're going to do that. All right. So what is this? Grammar Island. Okay. So Grammar Island is by 
Michael Clay Thompson. Sometimes you'll, you'll hear people say MCT. That's just the initials of the author, right? Okay. Now, what I want to tell you about this, let's just quickly just go through the... Um, I'm dividing this review into sections, okay? So we're going to start with um, the price. Now, here's the thing. Uh-oh, hold on. I have to turn off the comments for a section so you guys can see. Um, oh, my. How do I turn off the comments? I need you guys to see. Um, Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. Comments. It's not letting me hide my comments. What's going on? Uh-oh. Okay. Hold on, guys. I cannot hide these comments. So you can see what's coming up on the screen. No, don't want that. Uh-oh. Okay. I, I guess I can't do that. Okay. So I spent 20 minutes <laughs> putting together all these sections. Okay. Somehow it worked. All right. So we're going to go over price. Now, here's the thing. Michael Clay Thompson, he's got a lot of additions, baby. I mean, a lot. And you're going to see, like, this one I have, I think it's the second edition. I've had this one for years. This is, hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. This one is, oh, he doesn't say. You have to kind of go to his website, which is Royal Fireworks Publishing Company. And I'll, I'll put a link. There's a link down in the description box. I don't know. I don't remember what. Which one this is it doesn't say oh second edition right there so if you're wondering which edition you have it's on the back of the book where the barcode is Hold on. Let me get on here. there you go second edition okay now there are a lot of editions but don't worry because what i found from looking through them because i have i have just one version of grammar island but for the next level um grammar town i have two different editions and they're basically the same it's just the layout just kind of rearranged they might change some examples but overall it's still the same book so if you have what you have then have what you have and don't buy anything else don't don't get caught up in that now if you go to the website this book will cost you about thirty dollars if you go to royal fireworks press uh, publishing the link is down below if you go to the website, the publisher's website is $30. If you um, go elsewhere, it's going to, I think he says it's like 40 something dollars. Um, if you buy it individ individually, it's basically $30. Unless you go to eBay, which is what I've done, and you just wait for some mom who was tired of using this and she's just ready to just unload it and then cop this at a good price. Okay. So be on the lookout for not only eBay but uh, Facebook Marketplace. I bought, um, uh, what did I buy? I bought uh, some, oh, Singapore math stuff, some extra stuff for you guys off of um, uh, Facebook. So Facebook Marketplace, a lot of good stuff, okay? So let's pop it open, okay? So price-wise, you're going to average about $30 for this book. Now, before, oh, hold on. Okay. Now, the practice book that goes with the grammar book will cost you about the same, about $5 less. I find more people will unload this than this, okay? So definitely go to eBay and look for this. Sold together, if you buy it on the website, it'll probably cost you about $50. So that's why I say go to eBay or to these um, homeschool uh, resale uh swap groups on facebook there are a lot of them i know i'm subscribed to 20 of them so there you go now what do you really need now on the website it says you need the teacher manual and the student book no you don't i'm gonna show you why now i've never used so the student book look it's like this but it just has a few things th that aren't included that are in the teacher manual, like this. Okay, um, this is still the price part, guys. So if you're wondering, do I really need that teacher manual or student book? Get the teacher manual, okay? And let me tell you why. Because the only difference between the teacher manual and the student book are these little boxes, the teacher boxes, okay? These boxes 
are where um, uh, Michael puts his Socratic questions, a lot of questions. And when I get into like what this program is about, you'll understand why. So you'll see questions or little things to just kind of think about. You see right here? They're all they're always in blue boxes. Now this, it's no it's no worries for you to read this to your child or for your child to read it to you. It's not a big deal. You're not giving away, you know, the keys to Fort Knox or some deep answer. So, you know, you don't oh, it's coming apart. So, that's one difference. The other difference is toward the end. So you have uh, some 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 test stuff in the back. I never used it. Personally, I didn't like it. I didn't think it was like a big deal. It was like something I could have just downloaded from, you know, the Moffat girls or something. You see this? Things like this. You know, this is, um, hold on. I have the tabs here for a minute. Okay. So let me show you. And then I'm going to do a quick flip through. But I just want you to understand why you don't need to buy two copies of this, okay? So where this tab is, to the end is about 183, about 10 pages. This is what's in the teacher manual. Hold on. It's, it's not, ugh. it's nothing earth shattering, guys. It's not. You see, it's 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 not. Uh, more little information. You see that extra sentences for analysis. Um, look, I barely use this. Okay, so I would say go with the teacher manual, and then use it with your child. That's it. That's the only difference. You do not need the student book. Get the teacher manual, and then you have the embedded questions throughout the book so you guys can do it together. The only thing you need to buy an instruction manual for, but then I'm going to give you a little hack for that, is for the practice island. So this is your, this is basically their workbook, okay? And I'm gonna explain how the system works, but I'm talking about money because I know money is important. This you do need to get. This is how your child is going to show what he's learning, okay? This is the, this is how they analyze their sentences. This is the four level or four lenses of analysis or diagramming. Now, the, huh, there are a hundred uh sentences or like a hundred pages of work right hold on now the teacher manual will look like this okay i'm in the practice manual guys this is the practice manual now this is what it looks like this is what your child will be writing so each line is a level Sent parts of speech uh sentences phrases clauses and then comments this is what's going to be in your teacher manual okay now if you're not comfortable with knowing all the parts of speech even i forget sometimes i got a journalism degree and i had you have to go hard in your grammar for journalism but if you don't want to buy the teacher manual you do not this is what you do your child's working on this sentence right here and you're like i know there's a prepositional phrase and a clause and a direct object i just don't know where it is here well you just go over to google and you type in so you you type in grammar decoder or grammar analyzer they have a couple of programs they're all they they are all free you type in that bad boy this sentence right here and it will pull up the sentence and it will decode each word in that sentence. So it's your cheat sheet. So what I would do if I were you, because sometimes they only give you a limit of maybe two or three times or something like that. So just go to as many as you can, or it's like three or two or three times a day. And then in one weekend, just do the first 15, just sit there, write them down, you know, in your own little piece of paper or whatever. And then you have your own teacher manual. Okay. So you don't have to buy it. So just save yourself the money, 
get the teacher manual, about 30 bucks, and the practice book, which is called Practice Island, for about $20, $25. Again, on eBay, you can probably get it a lot cheaper. And then you got your grammar program right there, okay? So that's price. Now let's move on into the nitty gritty. Any comments so far? Oh, y'all talking today. All right, let's see. Okay, no, I'm back. Sorry, I'm catching up, I'm catching up. Okay, hold on. All right, so. Okay, I've heard of it. I haven't heard of it either, and I need grammar. Okay, Steph, you're in the right place. Jamila, Jamila says it's gone. What's gone, Jamila? Let me know what's gone. I might have missed something from up ahead in the comments. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Love says, I almost gave up because of the cost, but these are all $9.99 on Kindle, latest versions, and I cast my lessons to my TV anyway. Okay, so if you're comfortable using Kindle, I, I don't know what Kindle, how the formatting looks, but if you can put it on your TV or whatever, that's good. Then you can just, I don't know if it's the grammar book or the practice book that's on Kindle, but you definitely want the practice book. Okay, you definitely just want the practice book. So you just buy that. And then, uh, or you just go on Google and just uh, type in uh, four level, F O U R, four level diagramming sentences. I mean, diagramming is an old art. So you know it's going to be all, especially Charlotte Mason and classical people, you know there's going to be a whole bunch of sentences out there. Just find them with the, you know, the answers and just print those out. Truth be told, you know, this is just a good way to keep all of their, okay. The reason why I like the book is because there is a progression, okay? So it, it progressively gets harder. It starts introducing more complicated sentence structures. But if you want, if you have some time, remember, if it costs a lot, is it don't it doesn't take up a lot of your time. If it takes up a lot of your time, it's probably not going to cost a lot. So there's going to be a trade-off between time and money. But if you got some time, then you can just go online and 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 uh, put beginner level diagramming sentences, and then with like whatever parts of speech you, you want to work on, and then uh, or just see what they what comes up for beginner level diagramming sentences, intermediate level, four level diagramming sentences, um, so on and so forth. So you just put a little elbow grease in it. You can just really make your own. Um, practice island okay and you'll know by how your child is doing if this or maybe there's too much and then just you know just keep looking for beginner four level practice diagramming sentences you know what shoot y'all want me to go check right now i don't want to make this live too long let me check right now let me see four level diagramming sentences printables all right what, what we got? What we got? Let's see what do we have? What do we have? Free diagramming sentences worksheets. Okay, super teacher worksheets. I like the free stuff. Let's see if they got some free stuff. Okay, now there are different kinds of ways to diagram. Michael, this is slightly different, but in the end, you can at least if you can draw a line and write the sentence or type the sentence, then you're good. Simple two word sentences, diagramming adverbs and adjectives free. Let me click on that and see. Let me see if that's a, a source I want to send you to. Okay. Okay. The lines are different, but you know, you can make that work. So that super teacher worksheets, the key word is diagramming sentences. Now, things, Michael does just lines. These have, you know, slant. So just keep, you know, hold on, let me do images. Mm, okay. Okay, sentence. Okay, teachers pay teachers. I love that. Okay. Teachers pay teachers, diagramming sentences, um, complex sentences, beginners. Um, okay, so whatever you're working on, just put that up there okay so if you don't if you don't want to do that you, you can uh if you don't want to buy it then you can um just print out your own worksheets okay so let's move on to well first of all any any more questions on price 
See, I almost gave up because of the cost. Okay, we saw that one. Blue School says, good evening. You are awesome. I got. I have to run into soccer practice, but wanted to know if I could get away with just getting teacher manual. Yes, ma'am, for this one. Okay. Now, could you get away with not getting the, the practice book or the, you don't need a teacher manual unless, because you know, I told you how to hack it. Could you get away with not using this? You could, but it's going to involve some time on your part because when you're diagramming sentences, it does it, it does get complex and you want to be able to, because Michael Clayton does this kind of differently. So I would just um, maybe Google MCT diagramming. Let me do that real quickly. You know some mom put something up on here. And let's just see. MCT diagramming sentences all right let's see oh i meant to put printables okay printable worksheets okay let's see what we have here do, 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 do. come on i know there's a mom on here that i'm looking for some oh i like farrah williams let's see if she has some worksheets let's see da, 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 da. hmm now, I'm not seeing that she has any free worksheets, practice diagramming, sentence diagramming, but we want we want Michael Clay's version. Okay. I'm not seeing it yet, but that's because I'm like talking to you guys and trying to do five things at the same time. But I would just type in Michael Clay Thompson diagramming sentences and see what comes up. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's move on. See, I'm doing Grammar Island and Town with my kids. I learned about MCT from you. Oh, hey, Carla. I hope you're enjoying that. And Paragraph Town, um, it's a really good program. Let's see. I was thinking of getting Sentence Island because of you. One boy, one of the boys doesn't, he, does, he hates writing. One of the boys doesn't hate writing. You know, I have Sentence Island. I never use Sentence Island. But here's the, th here's the thing. Oh, y'all get me off off point and, and this is going to be a long video um if i had to do all oh i got that's a new video if i had to do it all over again y'all know i'm gonna be buying all this doggone uh curriculum but look see i have a master's degree in curriculum design and course development so it's in my data and my training to just, I just buy it because I just like to look at it and see how it's constructed and put together and then how I would make changes. What did I say? What I would do, oh, that's, hold on, that's another page. What I would do differently. I sound like OJ. It, this is what I, this is what I, if I did it, what I would do. Okay. Now, what I would do, no, not, not what I would do differently. Hold on, y'all. Okay. If I had to do all over, okay, that, I'm getting off topic. I'm going to make another video for that. I'm glad you're doing both and you're enjoying both. Okay, uh, let me see. Yes, got the whole set of Grammar Island on eBay. See, y'all, that's Chronic Reader, y'all. Better go check it out before everybody gets, uh, you know, they take everything. I like Royal Fireworks Press. I have two programs books from them already. The comments finally disappeared when you were trying to get them off. Okay, I, I have to hit hide. It was so obvious in my face. That means I need to go live more often. Okay, I did buy the Practice Island Teacher Edition for my kids. I would print out the sentences on a form or have them copy them. Exactly. You want to minimize, you know, it's a publishing house. They're, they're in the business of making money and selling you copies. Like with Well-Ordered Mind, you know, you know, there's only small parts of the manual that you, you have to buy. You have to buy the teacher's manual just for small parts like copy work and dictation. And it's like, oh, dude. No, you know, but you know, you have to buy it. So that sometimes that's how they get you. It should just be like a condensed copy where you just have. Don't get me into. Mm, I need. I need to develop my own curriculum. All right, are you saving this live? Oh, chronic reader, I save all my lives, my dear. Yeah, go do your life. Go take care of life, and then check. You know, come watch the replay. I'm going live every day this week. I'm doing a curriculum review because I'm so behind on all the reviews that you guys are asking me for. Okay, I'm caught up on the comments. Okay, so now let's move on to, um, we are moving on to, what's the next category? Key features. Okay, key features. Okay, 
So number one, Grammar Island is not Christian or religious related. Okay. And um, for, for, for some people, you know, that's important for it to be one way or the other. Now, just so you know, I'm not affiliated with um, Grammar Island. I'm not affiliate of them. I do have a link to uh, Amazon. Uh, and actually, I think the link might go to the Kindle thing. But yeah, I don't get any kickbacks or anything like that. I'm not affiliated with them. Now, Grammar Island, how it's different from all the other grammar books on the market is it is story based okay it gives you the big picture and as you guys know from watching my past videos i've kind of grown into realizing my children like a literature or story based curriculum okay or approach it helps them to make real world connections which is what happens when you're reading grammar city because you know with grammar there's so many rules. I mean, I was an editor. There's so many rules. English is the hardest language to learn, not just the phonetics and the pronunciation and the speaking. It's all the exceptions to the rules, right? So the thing is with Grammar Island, it gives you a story. It starts off with a story, okay? And throughout this story, this whole book up into the teacher's part is a story. And it has beautiful pictures in it. It's a story. And in the story, you're introduced to the, the first part of the book. Let me back it up. So the book is divided into four parts. So if you see here my teacher's manual, I have four tabs, okay? One, part one, part two, part three. Y'all probably can't see that. Part four. So I have tabs, okay? I just want you to see how, how, how long each part is. So part one is going to focus on the parts of speech, you know, adjectives, adverbs, nouns, prepositions, conjunctions, all that good stuff. The second part is going to focus on parts of the sentence, okay? The third part is going to focus on phrases, you know, prepositional phrases, verb phrases, things like that. And then the fourth part will focus on clauses. So you get those four parts or four lenses which is how they diagram. Each line is first line. Let me show you. I don't want you to get confused. Part one of the book is focused on the first line, which is parts of speech. The second part of the book, which is part, which is line two, is focused on your uh, sentences. The third part of the book is focused in the third line is focused on phrases. And then the fourth part of the book will be focusing on the last line in here, which are your clauses, okay? That's why I was saying you might wanna get this because there's great intention with how this is structured, okay? So um, that's why there are a hundred sentences because you eventually start adding more to this, okay? It gets a little bit more complex. Okay, so I still need this. So you're telling the story, you're reading the story, okay, about these animals. Now, what I like about this is the parts of speech are color-coded. I color code my kids, their clothes, everything in my house, my closet, everything's color-coded. It just makes sense to me. But they color code everything. So you'll see that osmosis, subliminally, you're also, your child's also making connections to this part. This part of speech is this color. It, they, it helps them recall things easier, especially when they're reading the stories. So as you get further along in the book, as a new part of speech is introduced, a new color is introduced, okay? And, the, and then by the time you get, let me show you what it looks like in the end, you look like, it looks like this. Okay, you see all those colors? Okay. So it's color coded. Now, this book, the Grammar Island, this is your entry version into the program, the grammar program. This is where you will start. Now, this was made for third to for third or fourth graders, right? And it builds itself as a gifted program. Honey, take that label off. Anytime a program says for gifted kids, automatically think. It's just going to be a little bit more involved for you because 
you can always manipulate the curriculum to make it work for you. I, I find that if it does say it's for gifted kids, really, it might be best for kids who have learning challenges and learning issues, okay? Just because how they approach things is just like so refreshing from your typical, you know, textbook, you know, from your, your you know, the big five textbook industries, you know, Harcourt and McGraw-Hill, all of them. So don't don't ever shy away from a program, a class, or a book that says um, gifted kids. You know what really makes this gifted is the Socratic questioning, where you're asking your kid questions about stuff. Now, if your child is unmotivated, you might have some issues. But you know what? Don't read the box. Or read the box and give answers and suggestions and see if you can pull something out of your child. But these little boxes that bump this up to gifted, no. There's no reason to shy away from this. So I say this is for everybody, okay? Now, parent-teacher involvement is going to be high, though. Why? Because this is this is meant to be read together with your child, okay? It's like couch time and because it's a story. So you're reading together. And actually, the way we write in this world with, you know, having Google and, you know, Siri and, and grammar checks, we need, to, we need a refresher on grammar. So you you read this with your child too. You know what the object of the preposition is? No, you don't. So read the book with your child. And then y'all both learn, okay? So so that's where it becomes a little bit more teacher in, involved. Also, there is no real lesson plan for this. Now, if you buy the homeschool package, which is like over $200, it says that it comes with like some daily lesson plans. I've never seen that. I've never talked to anyone who's ever used that. Most people I know, they just buy these books individually. They don't buy the homeschool package. And when it when we're talking about package, Michael Clay Thompson, it's a language arts curriculum. So you'll have the grammar, you'll have writing, you'll have vocabulary, you'll have poetry. So it's that whole program. But if you're just buying a la carte, you won't get that. But it doesn't seem like there's really anything to it like gritty to, to use. So this is what I did. Okay, this is what I did. Now, because this is like beginning grammar. Oh, and by the way, if your children are older, say fifth grade, middle school, high school, I know teachers on my forum who have used this. I used to teach college students and I use mentor books. I use uh, picture books. Because they get to the point and it's easier to grasp the concept, right? And this is great for kids in high school. And I'm not talking about special needs high school, uh, special needs kids. Just kids who are just already bombarded with so many rules and they probably never had a great foundation, just like in math. If you didn't have a great foundation in fractions and long division or decimals, you're always kind of reviewing. It's the same thing with grammar. So if you just kind of learn it with the big picture in mind, it doesn't matter the age of your student, okay? So just start where you are and then you can just kind of move quickly. Now, how you use this, how it's recommended that you use this, which is another key feature, this is the book, the storybook. You read this whole book before you start on this, okay? And the, the publisher says, well, the author says, I actually went to one of his talks at, the home, at one of these homeschool conventions in Anaheim. <clears throat> it's not a race. Grammar is forever. So um, you'll spend however long. If you want to spend a week on each part of speech, spend a week. If you need two weeks, however long you need. And then when you're done with this, you'll pick this up and start diagramming. Okay? That's all. That's the gist of the program right there. Read, enjoy, learn. You know, you'll remember the color coding and the stories. And then apply. So this is the application. So about maybe halfway through the year or a little bit earlier or later, depending on your pace, you'll start doing this. OK, so this is the real world application. That's all it is. People make things more you know, serious than what it is, but it's not. It's, ab it's absolutely not. OK, and what I like about this, kids feel like they kind of know grammar because they're seeing it used in real life, but with animals. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, even if you have an older kid, 
it's not it's not really it's not babyish because once you get further along and they don't know this stuff they'll stop saying oh that looks babyish no it'll be like mom i'm so glad i'm so glad it is babyish <laughs> oh these verb phrases these these clauses are killing me so so it's good so don't worry about the level if you're finding that all the grammar programs you use, whether it's daily grams or I'm not gonna say all the other names, and it's not working or sticking, maybe try something that has a totally different approach. Okay. All right. So any any comments so far? Let me see. Okay, let's see. Okay, I did but okay. I think I okay, I read that one. Chronic says, are you okay? I caught up. I'm, I'm on that. Okay, from your experience, if you had a very good reader, could they do this independently sitting beside a remote working mom? I struggle with time, juggling work, homeschool, and a toddler. Yes. Um, because it's it's you're just reading, right? You're just reading. Now, what you can do is after okay, so in the first part, you have eight chapters, if you will, because each chapter is a part of speech. So you can have your child read, sitting beside you, reading the first part, which I think is uh, nouns, and then, is it nouns? Whatever it is. And then throughout that part, the part one, go through it when she's done, when you have time, and ask her these questions just to see what she knows what she remembers okay ask her these questions that's why you want the teacher's manual and you don't need the student book ask her these questions to see what she's retained okay and also for you to know what's going on okay and they have those bubbles for everything okay and they have a sometimes they have little cheat sheets little things to make connections with stuff like that things to help you out so yeah sit her bes beside you and um, let her, hey, she can even read out loud if it doesn't bother you. And then just ask her some questions and then move on to chapter two, rinse and repeat. You can get through this. So when we're talking about parent involvement, if you got a wiggly, you know, worm, you know, you might need to sit and, you know, keep them, you know, on task. But maybe your wiggly worm, this might be perfect. You, Give them a little granola bar. Tell them to walk around the, the living room 10 times while reading this. Here you go. Here, baby. Look, wait. Vanilla coconut granola bar. Book in hand. Eat. You know, they could just be sitting on the couch like this, tapping their foot. Mm. Eating and reading. Because it's a book, right? I mean, it's like a novel. You know, have them, they read upside down. It's still a book. So, you know, they got the wiggles or whatever, but, you know, if you got some kind of accommodation where they can still, you know, be stimulated and still read, a lot of times that's how we read, right? You know, we're twirling our hair or, you know, I, actually I rock when I read. So, you know, just try it out and see. But definitely if you want to kind of take, you know, some of the, um, the work off of you, and if your child is motivated, you'll have no problem. If your child, you know, kind of loses focus easily, just try it out and see. Maybe just reading it as a story might be the lick that gets your child to pay attention. So let me know how that goes. Okay, Josie says, thank you. I need all the help I can get. You're welcome. Okay, Love Contest says, I use this with Beowulf Grammar. Yes, from Guest Hollow. I like that. I mean, I like her um, grammar. Because of how it's interactive for my seven-year-old and we are going slow. We also use the building language for the stems. So, okay. So, so for the seven-year-old, um, wait, are you using Beowulf with the seven-year-old? And then I use this with Beowulf. Oh, are you using this with Beowulf with your seven-year-old? I'm not sure um, how you're using this love. But if you are, and here's another thing. You can use this in conjunction with another grammar program. This is what I did with my youngest one, I want to say. Um, we did well-ordered language. Now, y'all remember from my previous review, I did not like well-ordered language. I thought it was so redundant and slow. And I forget who it was. Uh, Chito uh, Chitoina. 
She said, no, no, you got to give it a chance. So I went back. So I used it for six weeks. We went back to it. And my kids were like, it clicked. But reading this again and then uh, going to well-ordered grammar, really, because they had the big picture, it just made so much more sense to them. And so I kind of used that as my application, the work, instead of this, okay? Now, we didn't do a lot of diagramming um, like this version. We did some, but when we went back to well-ordered language, it really worked. So my kids have exposure to this, but they didn't do all 100 sentences because we brought in well-ordered language, and I like that. But I got to tell you, honestly, for my youngest one and also for my seventh grader, for the verb, uh, for the clauses, they could uh, use, we might come back and just do some practice on this just because when you're diagramming or when you're analyzing it, you really break down a sentence and all the parts to it. And you really start, you start to see how the parts make the whole and it just kind of comes together. So this, I think this is a great jumping off point to start grammar. And then when you're done with this, leave it alone. And, you know, if you wanted to go to well-ordered language, like maybe level two um, or something like that, you, you can play around with it. But definitely, if you just wanted to read this and then go off on your own, uh, you could. But I, I think the analyzing part really, really helps to just have them be able to deconstruct a sentence, which is a really valuable trait. Okay. All right. Any more questions? Uh, granola bar. Yes, girl. You, you know the secret of keeping them quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I could make you laugh. Yeah. I bribe my kids. I use both for both kids. Okay. So you're using. Yes. Yeah, so remember you make it work. Y'all know I use a whole bunch of stuff. I might find that um, one a certain a certain area in grammar is stronger than another er, another curriculum is is just because I have so much curriculum. So when I went back to well ordered ordered language, I realized at first I thought it was just busy work over and over again, but then I saw the subtle complexity built in. Oh shoot! I need to plug in my computer. Uh, I saw the complexity built in, and. And sometimes your kids just need a break from what they're doing. And then they come back with fresh eyes. And then they have an aha moment. So sometimes you have to do that just to kind of, you have to go backwards to go forward. So there you go. All right, let me, okay. So, okay, so key features. So key features. So there is a heavy emphasis on root words. So you'll see throughout you'll see references to latin latin words root words because in the program is very big on vocabulary and latin like if you go on further into like caesar's language and things like that you know you'll you'll really be immersed in uh, a very quality vocabulary program and it's sprinkled just a little bit in here okay so that might be one reason why they say for gifted just because exposure that's it. It's just exposure. So it's like, okay, I'm just exposed to it a little sprinkling. It's no big deal. So yeah, don't let that stuff, you know, worry you. Also, another key feature, there are forums. If you go to the website, uh, Royal Fireworks Press, it's RF, Royal Fire, wait, was it RF? Hold on. I can't do the acronym. Let me just go. Royal Fireworks Press. <laughs> It is rfwp.com. Now, look, it's an old man that runs this website. <laughs> I talked to him today. And um, so they're trying to, like, update things. You, know, you have to kind of maneuver through it, but you can kind of get the information if you put some time into it. But on the left-hand side of the navigation in the column, they, they have um, some videos to help you out, some slides. Uh, there is a forum. I don't know how active it is, but there is one on Facebook that is active and um, there are some free downloads. So go check that out and then see, you know, kind of get a little bit more of an idea of, you know, what the program is and how much you want to, you know, invest in it or, you know, devote to that. Uh, let me see anything else. Okay. Let me catch up with these. 
Okay. Jamila says, oh, I better get this. We have Caesars English one. Yeah. Okay. So if you use, if you're using Caesars English one, did you do, um, cause Caesars English is the vocabulary component. Remember there are four components of, of Michael's language arts program. You have the grammar, you have the sentences, you have the vocabulary. I'm sorry. You have the grammar, you have the writing, you have the vocabulary, and you have the poetry. All four of those components make up the language arts, okay? So if you, quite honestly, if you had the time, I would, me personally, if I had to do all over again, um, I would do all of it except for the writing part because I love writing and rhetoric. <laughs> uh, but everything else, I would keep the same. It's such a solid program. And if you're, you know, wanting your child to take SATs or any kind of standardized tests, although they're kind of fading out for some colleges, this is such a great natural organic introduction to vocabulary, not just memorizing words, word lists and things like that. You're actually reading great, like Caesar's English. You're reading such great literature and, and you're seeing the finest of works and the vocabulary. So what you do, you just take that vocabulary and make that your spelling list. So all kinds of ways you can, you know, you can shave that pig or shave that sheep or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now, so, okay, let me move on. So we talked about key features. The next feature, hold on, let me take Jamila's beautiful comment off for a second. The next feature are the pros. Okay, so the pros are you're not learning a whole bunch of rules. And oh lord, I was supposed to be showing this to you on my camera. I'm gonna get to that, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Well, I'm afraid to do it because my uh I got a lot of feedback on my um uh, my other microphone. Let me see if I can. You know what? Hold on. Let me see. All right, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to switch this camera. But I won't know if you guys can see it. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I'm, I'm entering the studio again. I, there's something I have to do to mute something. I'm not sure. Mute. Okay, enter studio. Okay. Okay, do I need All right, if you can, right, you can, right, you can, right, you can, right, you can, 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 you all right. No sound. Okay. Can you guys hear me now? One, if you can hear me now. Oh my gosh. We're at 48 minutes. I'm going to have to make a pre-recorded one just to get to the basics. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, good. All right. So let me get to it. Okay. All right. So Oh, let me switch the camera. All right, as so I can't see the comments, so I'm switching the camera. Okay. If you can see the book, can you put a one? No, if you can see, hold on, Lord. All right. If you can see the grammar book, put a five in the comments. If you can see the grammar book, put a five in the comment section. Let me see. Give me a five if you can if you could see that. Let me go back. Can y'all see that? Okay, good. Okay, good. All right. 
So this is how it starts, okay? Here's your story. Here's a story. All right. And then as I told you before, you have the little, um, the teachers, the little special boxes that contain tips and questions and uh, all that good stuff. Okay, let me move this over here. I'm gonna go this go through this pretty quickly. Okay, so now you, now you have part one. Okay, the eight parts of speech, and I'll just I'll just go through this fairly quickly because I don't have the right setup. Okay, stay. Okay, but you see how it's very conversational, very child friendly. You start seeing these bubbles. Okay, you start seeing these bubbles. And this is another way your child learns too, osmosis. You start seeing the relationship between each part of speech. How important a noun is to a pronoun, to an interjection, to a prep. So, so your child is being introduced to not just the parts of speech, but the relationships between the parts of speech. Let me move on to, oh, now we got, we got aqua. We got a new color, okay? Get your pronouns, and they give you the list of pronouns. Moving on, more beautiful artwork, okay? So if you look at how it reads, how it's talking to you and your child, and all along, it's your child is learning that as he's reading or she's reading, they're seeing nouns in blue, uh, pronouns in aqua, okay? Oh, now we're adding something else. Well, we're adding adjectives. So it's all coming together. See how they're talking to your child. And then there's lovely artwork on that page. Okay, more artwork. I will show you both sides, but my, my bookcase is here getting in the way. Okay, look at that. So you're not getting your typical grammar book with just, you know all this stuff thrown at you. Let me move on to the next section, okay? There you go. Shoot, a little bit of, a little, a little introduction to chemistry, a little compound, <laughs> compounds going on, okay? And as you know, they're starting to, this is, what, this is what I like about the curriculum, how it breaks everything down visually. It does it in several different ways. So you see here, you, you see the vertical alignment. Some, some children need to see uh, see it written like this. Okay. Look at that. See, there's a lot, a lot of visual interest. Okay. Now we're on verbs and then you'll have little stories to read. Okay. Look at this. This is the, the teacher manual. Read and discuss. The story shows the relationship between the noun and the verb. Okay. And then it talks about how we analyze sentences. And then it gets right into it. So I like how when they, they give you the definition of these parts of speech, they really make it stick to you or make it stick. So I, I like that. I mean, I learned, look, hell, I still know all the words to Schoolhouse Rock. It rhymes. It was a story. Now you have another story, but it's got the parts of speech in color. Let me move this down just a little bit. Okay. And all the while, if you look at the top of each page, it's kind of telling you, showing you still reinforcing the relationships, okay? Let's move on. Now, this is what I like because now in a column form, you got, you're bringing in math, how to read a graph. This will, you know, this is still uh, a chart, if you will. It's columns, it's columns and rows you know, how to process this information, okay? There you go. And then more artwork. All right, conjunctions. Conjunction, function. Conjunction, junction. More stories. So stories within a story, okay? Stories within a story. All right. So by the time you get to the object of the preposition, which is to me like the, the fractions or it's like the, the equivalent of long division or fractions, it's like where people start getting messed up, <laughs> you know. And then you have the eight parts of speech. 
They start to line it out for you. And then after a while, your child starts to see patterns. There's pattern recognition. Oh, I'm seeing that adjectives, you know, comes before nouns, but hmm, they can also come somewhere else. Adverbs, you know, can come in front of the verb. It can come at the beginning of a sentence. They start seeing non-patterns as well. It's like, oh, this doesn't always work. Okay. And then once your child has been introduced to the eight parts of speech, now you're on part two, part two right here. All right. The parts of the sentence. Okay. And it now you're starting to, now this, if you were to use the well-ordered language curriculum, I would start here. Like, I mean, I would read this. And then as you're reading this, then I would kind of start to segue into well-ordered language because they they start off like with this and they go for a long time. So if you wanted to bring in well-ordered language, that would be part two would be like a nice time to bring that in, in just my opinion, okay? And if you notice the font is kind of bigger, like when you're doing, oh no, I'm taking that back. No, it's not. More stories, okay? Now, getting a little complicated. Look at that. But don't be scared because look how they talk to you. And look at, look how they're like so nonchalant about it. Okay? And then they still give you, they'll give you some little extra hints down here. Okay? But, you know, it's revving up a little bit. Now you have two rows, right? You're on your... uh. Remember from the practice island, the first row, parts of speech, second row, sentences, okay? So let me move on a little bit here. So I like that they have little diagrams too. And now you're seeing, you still have the color, but look, okay? Now you got gray. You got more, okay? Bring out some colored pencils. Get those scented scented color pencils have fun with it or some chalk right on the, uh, the sidewalk or or on some recycled uh target brown paper bag pages okay so you see so you're getting the ideal right so let me move on part three. Oh, part three. Uh -huh. i didn't zoom past part three. Oh, that was part three <laughs> that was the clauses I mean, yeah, the uh, uh, the phrases, sorry. Now we're on the phrases, my bad. All right, so now look, part, ugh, part three is the shortest one, phrases, okay? So it's kind of like like the, the seventh inning stretch in a baseball game. All right, all right. It's like, you know, it's not that much. You know, take a little break. Maybe do something else, but it's not a long, it's not a long part, but maybe 10 pages, if that, front and back, okay? So nothing scary, because you don't really have that many phrases. And then you're into your clauses, okay? Part four, the final part, okay? And always still look up here, okay? What's the focus? And there you go. Now we have a box, okay? So you're seeing a colored box, okay? So these are your clauses, and I'll just go through this very quickly. You still have your stories, and then now that you're you're onto your clauses, the last part, you're getting the whole kit and caboodle, right? Okay. And now, did you? I don't know if you noticed, but in the practice island book, you have comments, right? Did you think that was for you, the teacher? Like, oh, you did very well today. I like how you, <laughs> I like how you analyzed. Nope. So this is where it's kind of like common core to me. You know how you have to like describe stuff, <laughs> but. You kind of want your child to understand why they did all of this, right? So me, personally, I would just have my child say it verbally because once my my, my sons are done analyzing, 
They don't want nothing to do with this, baby. Nothing to do with this. So you just have them tell it back to you. Totally acceptable. Or maybe every other sentence, they can write a comment, okay? Uh, especially if they were struggling, then I would have them talk it out. Uh, my kids just don't like to write. So, uh, but if your child likes to, then have at it. But that's what that looks like if you want to see examples of a comment, okay? No, you ain't got to write all that. No, just, it's just, and I, you know, here's another comment. It's just, you know, a little sum sum. Okay. Nothing big. Okay. There you go. Does your child need to do this? No. Maybe give them extra credit. Okay. Maybe have them do it on Friday. Just do one on Friday. Do, do one each day and, and on Friday, have them do that. Okay. Make it like the challenging word problem. Like in math, make it that. All right, so that's that. And then here we go. Okay, and then it ends with the, well, not it doesn't end. Well, it does kind of end with the story of the. And it ties it all together. And then we have, what have we learned on Grammar Island, which I don't think is in the student book because I ain't got the student book. <laughs> but there you go. It's your your cheat sheet. If I were you, I would um, dog ear that or, or, or tab it. Oops. Just so you have your little cheat sheet. And you can kind of see the progression of, why am I blurry? You can see the progression. Okay, hold on. Oh, I can change this. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is the wrap up the wrap up and then uh, if you didn't know it was the wrap up it tells you right here goodbye goodbye all right and now you're ready to start on your practice island okay just a little more little words parting words and then the end the beginning okay and it says, we now have a four-level foundation that we can apply and integrate with other studies for the rest of the year, which is your clue to go get your practice island book, okay? And then it just tells you if you want to continue with this with writing, then you can do sentence island. And if you want to do uh, reading, you can do uh, mud, which is um, like they're reading, they're reading books. And then here's your teacher resource section, which is kind of meager, but I'm going to show it to you. I'm sorry about this shadow, guys. And that, and this is only not that many pages. So it just talks about the graphics, the little boxes I showed you, grammar, the style. You know, if you want to read that or take a snapshot of that, you want to screenshot that with my shadow. Okay. Um, yeah, basically everything I just told you is what they're saying right here. Okay, and uh, it's just saying here to the instructor, you know, nothing major. As you see, I only underline one thing, basically. Okay, so many pages of Grammar Island contain only a, sen a single sentence. So a month or less should be plenty of time to move through the whole island. So, <coughs> so it says here, Grammar Island could conceivably be done in a month or less and then you get started with practice island okay so it's saying it's a grammar launch because the real work begins with practice island okay and it says for you know a strong grammar program for mid elementary children but again if your child don't have any kind of foundation you start where you with the child in front of you now here's a pretest. i never used it <clears throat> i just assume my child doesn't know anything and then we just go. But if you wanted to give your child a pretest, this is what it looks like. Pretest, okay? And then here are the pretest answers. And then here is the post test. So basically, you want to give the pretest to your child before you start the program, <clears throat> before you start the book. And then after you finish this, give them this to see what they remembered or what they learned, okay? And then there are the answers. And then uh, I forgot why this was here. Y'all see how long we've been using this. Um, 
that's when my oldest child had really nice handwriting. Uh, yeah. So that's it. And then I told that to you earlier. <clears throat> and that's it. Just some little extra examples. N nothing that is pertinent. Like if you wanted to print this out and have your child do it, that's it. That's it, guys. The answers right there. And patterns. And the stuff I showed you earlier about, you know, just some pages. If you wanted to have something blank to kind of diagram like a bigger version. And just more diagramming sentences. And how to apply it. it. It talks about how you can use that. Okay. Like when you're doing the diagramming, it tells you how you can do that. If you want to take a screenshot of that, you can, but this, you know, nothing major. And then just extra sentences for analysis. Um, well, let me read this for you. Okay. So after the class finishes, after you finish Grammar Island, it's time to apply it. Okay. So here are some good techniques. So this is how they tell you how you can manipulate practice island. Okay. When you read something together, such as a poem or a play or story, find a sentence that is within the grammar of Grammar Island and write the sentences out. Pick a sentence that is eight words or shorter. Okay? So this is just more practice for you, for you to do. Again, like maybe if you don't even want to use the practice island, they're telling you here, find something that is of interest to your child. After you write the sentence, draw four lines below it, and this is what you do. Then using only questions, go through the sentence together, ask what is grammar, how many levels there are, what the level is, so on and so forth. So if you want to take a screenshot of that, and this is great if you don't want to use Practice Island or if you want some guidance when you're using Practice Island, okay? So it tells you different ways you can do that. All right, so let me switch it back to my lovely face. That wasn't me. Okay, so that is my law. Oh my gosh, an hour. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're still with me and watching this, you must really want to learn about grammar. I thank you so much. Um, if you guys have any comments, I'm trying to make sure I, I went through everything. Can you take Jack to karate at five? Okay, yeah. Why is he? Yes, hold on. Let me answer my husband. Okay, I didn't mean to go this long. I seriously only meant to be 30 minutes and. Y'all know how we get. Okay. So, all right. So, okay. So, yeah, I covered everything. So, just know you're front loading what Michael calls you front loading by reading everything at the beginning of the year or when you start this. And then this is the closer. Okay. You're going to close with this. That's it. That's Michael Clay Thompson's Grammar Island and Practice Island in a nutshell, in a long one hour nutshell. So I'm going to, uh, I don't see any other comments. Oh, hi, Muna. Glad you, you can come on in, Kamika. Okay, so if there are no more questions, oh, I hope I didn't hang up the wrong one. If you guys can see me, oh man, if you guys can see me, put a one in the chat. I don't have any comments. I wonder if I closed the wrong window uh oh all right guys if you can see me just give me one before i get out of here i want to make sure i didn't close the wrong window in uh in stream yard uh oh no one's oh you can okay good all right so that's it so if you don't have any more questions well i'm out of here but if you do have have questions leave them below in the comment section and i will answer them or someone else who has knowledge can answer your questions and I will put, um, tomorrow we will be doing, I forget what the second most popular option was for the review, but that will be that tomorrow. And I'm really going to try to make the reviews very short and to the point, but I know you guys like to ask questions. So I might just put out a pre-recorded one, just hitting the, the basics, like five minutes or less, just to be more respectful of your time. If you're just trying to get that information. And then if you want more information, you can watch the lives. So that's probably what I will do. All right, so I hope that works for you guys. Um, don't forget to like and share. Definitely share this with another parent who could probably use this. And hit like so you can help me out in these YouTube streets because 
YouTube will tend to push my videos out more and uh, we can get this information out to more people. Um, again, oh, also, if you want my free uh, homeschool checklist, it is free. The link is down below. It's a homeschool planner checklist. And that's it. I'm out of here. Thank you guys for staying with me, my diehards. I love you guys so much. <clears throat> and if there's anything that I've left out, just leave a comment below and I'll address it at the beginning of the next live tomorrow really quickly. And especially if it's kind of kind of an important question, I'll do that. And that way you guys can kind of help make your decision. Oh, I forgot to give you guys your curriculum planners. Oh, that was supposed to be my little surprise. I'll do it tomorrow. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Love you, bye. <laughs> I am out of here. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, Twitter. If you are joining us, thank you so much. Let me get out of here. Oh my goodness. I'm, hold on. I made all these banners. I'm showing these banners. I made them. I'm showing them. I forgot to show the cons, the teacher involvement, my conclusion, and my recommendations. I'll be better tomorrow. <laughs> I promise. I'm out of here, guys. Bye-bye.